Okay, this is Lisa from AQR, and I'm going ahead and uh, doing this as a companion for, uh, let me see, what was it called? Um, ratios in the media, because I didn't go over this inside of my videos, I just did it in class. And so I figured I might as well go ahead and put these out. Now we have these two images right here. An image of a uh, zebra, you know, zebra, zebra, and the peacock. So there's a couple of things about this. We have a 4 to 3 screen uh, displaying a 16 to 9 image. So we have the, the regular screen, then we have these little letter boxes right here. And then they're asking what percent of the screen area is occupied by the image. And that's pretty easy to go ahead and find out. So we got this right here, and inside of our class we talked about finding the width and the height of the actual image. Here we're given these pieces of information, but you know what, we can also find out what this is from a 25 inch screen and all that stuff, but we're not doing that right now. We're just working what we have, and uh, instead of the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, the uh, enhanced uh, parts of this uh, course, we talk about a couple of other things. So we have this right here. We have a width. We're given the width and the height. Do we have, let me see, and an image uh, with an aspect ratio of 4.3. Well, we're given that the width and the height of the actual screen are going to be like 16 inches and by 9 inches. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. All right, when we take a look at this screen. We're going to go ahead and take it for facts, and you know, we're going to say the aspect ratio of the screen is a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. And then the image has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And so from here, we go ahead and take these two right here and start thinking of a couple of things. What's it fitted to? Is it fitted to the height or is it fitted to the width? Right here, since it goes from one uh, part of the screen to another, and basically this is the fitted part because it's fitted right here so the lay, the um, the widths of the screen and the widths of the aspect ratios are both the exactly the same the width of the image and the width of the actual screen so it's this one is fitted to the width so now we need to go ahead and think all right so it's fitted to it we have to think this part and this part have to be exactly the same right now they're not so we can just do this mathematically 4 times x, which is our scale factor, is equal to 16. Solve for 16. You know, solve for x. You know, divide by, by 4. This gives me x equal to 4. So that tells me, since this has the aspect ratios right here, whatever, since this is going from this big number and we're going to get this small number, we're going to be using this, we're going to go ahead and say, all right, 4 times x is whatever. So 4 times uh, 4 in this case is 16 and then 3 times 4 whoops 3 times 4 would be 12 so now we know that this height is 12 and this width is uh, 16 now usually when you're finding out percentages of how much is used and whatever we usually take part over whole and we usually go ahead and use area well it's not totally necessary in this case, but I would go ahead and do it for you guys just so you can see and my mathematical thinking. Originally, this is what I would just do. I'd take the total height, which right here happens to be 12. 9 divided by 12, and this would give me approximately 75%. But you're probably just like, well, that might be true, but I don't really absolutely believe it. Well, we're gonna, I'll go ahead and show you that it's true. The area of this right here is 16 by 9. And then we have the second part, which would be, uh, let me see, 16 by 12. Because that's the area of the entire screen. This is the part, this is the whole. Now, let me see if I'm recording this correctly. Yeah, I am. You can see that. So remember, it's 16 by 9 and 16 by 12. And here's what's interesting right here. These two cancel out. 
we're left with 9 divided by 12, which is exactly what we have right here, which is equal to 75%. And that's what happens with this case. So we really don't need to go ahead and do this part. This is uh, good enough. <coughs> You're probably wondering, well, how is it 75%? Well, do this. 9 divided by 12. 0.75. You always multiply it by 100, and that changes into a percentage of 75. Little secrets, little secrets. All right. Now, for the other screen, for the peacock, we have almost the same thing. We have a 16 to 9 screen displaying a 4 to 3 image. So in this case, we're going to have these pillar boxes. So right here, I'm thinking that this uh, image right here is a 4 to 3 image. Why I'm doing, starting with that, I have no idea. I just do. And this is 16 to 9 right here. Now you're going to ask yourself, what is it fitted to? So this one's fitted to the, since right here, since it goes for the, the, the height of the image is exactly the same as the height of the screen, it's fitted to the height. And then we just go ahead and do our magic work. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and start out with the same thing. I'm going to say, well, this, since it's fitted, we have to have 3x equal to 9. Divide both sides by 3. x is equal to 3. So that means that I multiply this part by 3. That gives me 9. Now I multiply this also by 3 because that's scale factor. We're scaling it. So these this uh, image right here is similar to the original print. So this is also 3, so 12. And so we end up with 16, or actually 12 divided by 16, which happens to be also 75%. And that's how you do this. This is very simple. And what happens to the screen, we don't need to know. We, well, actually, we need to know, but it's simple understanding of this stuff. So any other questions, just ask me in my class. I'll go ahead and load this up onto uh, sheet, you know, the sheet for, um, for ratios in the media. This will be uh, a companion piece. Thank you. I'll talk to you later.